Logitech has just announced an update for their G-Hub software, which essentially is their control center for all your gaming Logitech peripherals. And they promise things like ease of use, better accessibility options. So what we're going to do, we're gonna look at what these options look like with the old software and what they look like with the new one and see if these changes are actually good enough for us to decide whether we want to go into that full Logitech ecosystem. So let's check it out. Going into this software, you could already see that one of the biggest differences is the fact that the new piece of software has more of a tile based look. So instead of scrolling left and right, you're going to be scrolling up and down. And honestly, I could say that I already like this type of look because it makes things a little bit easier to kind of jump right into. Now, I started doing a look at all of the different items that are here, trying to spot the differences as I move along. And honestly, you won't find many in here. But here in the settings, I did notice a difference. And that difference is the removal of the ARX control, where if you don't know what that is, that was basically an app that you would use that can give you some control features over on your phone for the Logitech software. So it looks like they have officially discontinued any type of support for it. And the app wasn't even getting updated anyway. So it does look like it's a done deal, period, done. Now, as you keep moving forward and you start looking at things, you will notice that once you're in that main hub and you click the top profiles, you're going to see that in the new piece of software, it's actually more organized in the way that instead of moving to the page where it shows all the different icons, you could just have that drop down menu. You're going to click on it and it's just going to work fantastic, get you right to the profiles that you need. So I think from a, from an accessibility and a quick, way of getting it. I think this is very intuitive. Now, once you keep going in there and then you start to look deeper on changing uh, some of the profiles and macros, there's no real difference that you'll find. Now to note, when you are on the main page, you actually notice that you could move it from being tile based over to list based. So that is something, you know, for those of you that liked uh, the list a little bit better, you have that. But something else that I was hoping that it would support the snowball ice, but it still doesn't. Now, when it comes to the performance of these two pieces of software, you're going to see on the older version, it is taking more load on my PC sitting at 414.8 megabytes, where with the newer piece of software, it's sitting at 311.6 megabytes. Now I can't, I don't necessarily know where that difference is coming from, but you will notice that within the G hub itself, it shows like there's six items open versus four on the new one. So if anything, I, I'm going to have to try to investigate a little bit more, but that's uh, some difference right there. So, I mean, there's some lighter performance. Now for the final difference that you'll find within the software is how for those people that, that have the Logitech lights, how the software will actually interact with it. Where with the old software, when you turn on the lights, it turns on anything that you have connected with it. It's all like in one shot. Now in this software, as I'm playing around, you'll be able to see that you can turn one and off individually, set the different temperatures, actually have full control of your setup where before you didn't necessarily have that. So this could be great for a lot of creators that like to have one main light, one key light, and then one being your fill light. And now this is something you can absolutely achieve within the software itself. And there you have a quick look at the differences between the old G-Hub software to the new one. I mean, I think there were definitely some nice changes, some nice UI changes. Uh, that I think it's gonna make it more pleasant to work with because again the thing that I didn't like was scrolling all to the side But let me know what you think about the changes down in the comments below and thank you for watching the video If you like this, please leave a quick like and consider subscribing for my, more content in the future My name is link with gamer gear and check you out on the next video